when did you know it was time to start a second policy? Why did you start your second policy? Okay, so that was Canini. So the resun, why I went that route. So in 2018, my income was 35K a year. So roughly 2000 a month is what I was bringing in. Expenses, 1500. Debt was around 30. Cash flow, cash flow of 500 bucks. That was 2018, um, August. No, I'm a liar, June, right? So six months into 2018, here's where I stand. I started the life insurance policy, I believe in August with Mass Mutual. August uh, was the start date. So I was doing 6K a year. Why? Cash flow, right? 500 times 12, boom, six, can six grand. That's what I was doing. Now, the other reason was I also had a bit of uh, a savings built up, right? So I had like a, about two or 3K, which kind of helped make sense. And then I was betting that I would, you know, make more money or whatever. Well, things didn't go according to plan, got fired at that job. So then went to zero. So I had a policy, but it went to zero. And then I started a YouTube channel. So for the rest of 2018, I, let's see, in, in August with YouTube, I think my first month made like 460 bucks. And then the following month, I think was like 1300. So I think it was like August, September, or it might've been September, October, November was like 3K. Then I got excited. I was like, oh, okay. And then December, I did 6K. And then January 2019, I did 10K, okay? I did 10K, February, March. March, I did 35K. And then February was like 20. I was just, it was just going up. But technically speaking, I was projecting to 10X, right? Two, 2000, once I did my 20K, I was like, oh, that's 10X. So if I can consistently make that amount, 20K, 20K times 12, if I can bring in this amount for the year, if you times that by 66%, 158,000 of that amount running a business or whatever, the actual profit that I had at the end of 2019 was, I think my profit was about 125K, probably more than that actual revenue was 283. So I was projecting to at least make this the 240. And then I, and then I was like, okay, well, as long as I can keep around this number 158 after all expenses, bills, that didn't end up that way cuz I didn't realize how expensive it is to run an, an operation, run a business. So the number was less. But even in even in that, when you do the math, is 66% of 158 is 100,000, right? So then I said, okay, well, I don't know how to invest yet. I don't know how to invest, right, in anything yet. I knew how to invest in myself, generating the revenue. And I saw, okay, the life insurance, I had the 6K policy. By then I was writing policies for people like 20K, 50K, like bigger numbers by that point in time. So I got more confident and I was like, okay, now that I 10 x my income, when I look at the numbers, I'm very comfortable doing 70 grand a year. So if I had over 100K in profits, right? One, 125, I think it was, yeah, 125. Take that number times it by 66, you get 82.5. 70,000 was the new number, new figure I was looking at. And to tell you the truth, at first, I didn't get to 70K. At the beginning of the year, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do 20K a year, you know? And then as I was going through the medical process, I was like, oh shoot, um, income was going up again. So I was like, you know what, uh, we'll do it 40, you know? And then I was, you know, talking with Steve one-on-one. -on -one. I was like, look, this is what's happening in the business. Here's my profits, here are my numbers. And then come June of 2019, that's when actual policy started finished it off, I, I came to a solid number of 70K. That's what made the most sense uh, to me at the time. And then I was projecting that my tax bill would be around 30K. So I figured, okay, 
well, I'm not going to pay the taxes till 2020 for 2019. So I was like 30 K taxes. I had built up 40, 50 K in savings. It was a no brainer. I got to that final 70 K number. When I looked at the end profit, I said, well, I can, with my eyes closed, I could pay 70 K and that 6 K with mass mutual and be fine. All right. So that's what kind of got me to those figures is I always look at the four major numbers, cash flow times 12 times 66%. Cash flow times 12, get a number, times that by 66%. Conservatively, you could do that number with your eyes closed, right? So if I cash flow 100 grand a year, 66% of that, 66,000. If I'm not doing anything with that free cash flow after I've saved, invested, tithe, give, bills, and you still have 100K free, money isn't going anywhere, it's just sitting in a checking account, or it's money you've built up over the years, I, it's a conservative number. I could do it with my eyes closed. So that's how I got to that figure. And I continue to use that when I work with you guys, uh, talking to strangers on the internet. It's the same kind of method. I don't deviate from it unless something changes, I don't know. But for now, it, it, it makes absolute sense to me for the time being.